You mentioned about preferred walk-on. What are your thoughts on being a preferred walk-on? Because mm. I'm very, I got very strong thoughts on that, and I don't know if everyone really realizes the, the cons of it. I mean, they see D1, but I don't know if they realize yeah. the reality. I mean, so what I, do you I tell your it's, players? I, uh, it's a risk. I think it's a very big risk. Why? Uh, well, I, think, I should say that. It depends what your expectations are. Right. So I, there's a difference between being a walk on at a low major school and being a walk on at a high major school. Right. Or, or, so the lower level, the lower the level, the more likely you are to be able to play in practice, be treated a certain way. You're not going to be, my sense would be if I was a walk on in many schools in a top five program, right, that I'm essentially another, I'm hitting players with the pad, you know, I'm rebounding for guys, I'm not participating. Right. If I'm walking on at, um, you know, a lower to mid-level division one, I might be a practice participant, right? Um, it depends how good I am. If I'm, um, you know, the kid who I mentioned before, he was a good player. He was probably in a normal year, you know, division two scholarship player. So for him going to a lower level division one school is not that much of a stretch, you know? Um, but, you know, when I was talking to him about it, <laughs> this goes back to my college days, the last thing the coach wants to hear is how much, how good you are and how much you're going to play and how much you're going to earn your way and how you're going to get a scholarship. <laughs> I said, don't even talk about that. That's going to be guys saying, I don't want to deal with that. They've got 13 guys on scholarship or if you're the head coach, the last thing you want to be thinking about is, you know, this guy thinks he should be, you know, and now he thinks he should be playing. So you've got to go into it with, um, I love the school. This is where I want to go to school. Um, I hope basketball works out. I'm going to do everything I can to make it work out. If I don't ever get a scholarship, I'm going to be fine. Um, I'm going to be the most low maintenance person on the team. I'm going to win every sprint. I'm going to know every play. <laughs> um, it's a hard deal, whether you're kind of a preferred walk on or, you know, I don't call it like a natural walk on, you know. So I think if the expectations are clear, but I think kids probably err in not having realistic expectations or not. And I think coaches, college coaches sometimes don't are fully honest in, in the likelihood of things happening or not happening, <laughs> you know, um, because they don't want to be discouraging or um, I think that's another area, sorry to jump where myself and I'm sure other coaches you talk to, I, I think we can get honest information from coaches, from college coaches. I think right. it's a huge right. piece of the recruiting process because I've sat in that seat, I've made those calls. I know exactly what, um, they're looking at the board. I know exactly what they're saying. I know what, hey, we like you, but we want you to visit in a couple of weeks. I know what that means. That means there's somebody else visiting before you, <laughs> which just needs to be explained. But I think coaches are less, and I was probably the same way. You know, you don't want to say, hey, you're never going to get a scholarship here. You could say, oh, you're really going to have to earn it, right? But those are, how that's interpreted is, is different, you know, so.